Yeah, I know. I could do that too. Hey. Oops. Wrong button. Uh. Whoops. Okay. Smack. I am made of stone and rock and roll. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> oh, wait, are you a friend? Whoops. I. He didn't attack me. Oh, well, now he is. You're not a friend. You're dead. That's my roasted rat. Regenerates 35 health. We... Okay. We have not maxed that out yet. I have no idea where I'm going in this game. Like, we've been playing it for two hours, and I just... We're, I don't think we're any closer to figuring anything out than we were when we first started. <laughs> it's been fun. I like it a lot. But it's like... It's crazy. I have no... It, the game doesn't give you any direction, which is cool. I like that, but... It's... It being more wide open, sort of, or like has more of a uh, large area to wander around in means that we wander for much longer before we figure out where, where it is we're supposed to be going. Like, it's huge. It's huge. And there's no map, man. Uh, oh my god, you things. Okay. Don't eat my face. We just got something spit at me, I think. Woo! Alright, uh, I should have just... Woo! Man, nectar. Tainted nectar. Unfit for consumption. Oh, we got a glimpse, too. Man, I have got to get back to the hub area before we die and lose this stuff. I mean, I could I could make progress, I could level, but I've... Wow, uh, we have no stamina. Whoa, okay, we lucked out. I have no idea how to get back now, though, because we're so far away. Uh, no, 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 no. These things poison you, I think, when they hit you. Well, that was great. Alright. And that's also why we, fi we found two of the uh, poisonous mushrooms outside. Oh, outside of this place? Um... All right, that works. Just walk at me slowly and menacingly. Is that an arm? It is an arm. Oh, hi. Stop jumping. Boom. Having certain visible landmarks, I know. Yeah. But it's... There are some, of course, but it's also like the whole area looks the same, you know? So it's 
It's very easy to... I've been mostly sticking to the left wall, so I could kind of just backtrack doing that. But what if I want to just keep going forward? I don't know if... If we should. Or if I should backtrack. I don't know what the game kind of... like wants us to do it seems as if it's very grindy in the beginning because it wants you to kind of gain some skills first you know use your resolve i mean not your resolve use your glimpses and your tar to kind of level up okay What? Oh. And I guess also, back in the hub area, each one of those, uh, the bodies you click on, are they're like little memories and they give you a, a glimpse, a hint. Fallgram outskirts. See, we're in a completely new area now. Crap. I don't think we should go this way. Because I think there's probably a dungeon with a boss and stuff back in that previous area. We just had to find it. So it's like we went the wrong way. I like how they get scared too. Oops. Spectral token begets a connection to the spirit realm. I think with that we might be able to traveled back. Uh, see, I just, I don't feel like wandering even further. Because I don't know if we're just going to get one shot and then I have to come all the way back here to... Oh, crap. And also, I'm assuming that we just entered a new area. I'm hoping that the, uh, the previous area didn't regenerate or respawn all the enemies so that we can like we cleared out a lot of it i don't know thanks for the follow well played welcome and trash panda welcome That was, uh, not good. Oh, hi. Uh... <laughs> Alright. I love that there was a unbreakable loot. Because that was such an amazing part of the demo, was finding the loot and playing that, and it's just so cool. And then they have, like, an unbreakable one. The legendary unbreakable loot. Made out of pure obsidianite. Ow. Yeah! I know! Congrats! I just saw... I didn't... I missed Meme Lord. I missed you saying that a little while ago, earlier. But yeah. Congrats on the job. This looks kind of like the demo area, maybe? Hmm. What are you doing? Throw, throw those hands up. I think this is the demo area. Yeah. So there's a level or like a dungeon straight ahead. Maybe. Finally going to live above the poverty level. It's so nice. <laughs> hey, come here. Uh 
Uh-oh. Oof. We're just, we'll keep going this way. It's just going to be slow. Like a turtle. Slow and steady. But we do have a bunch of consumables. That was a waste. I'm going to use a couple of these consumables, but I don't know what they do yet. Um... No, not the tar ones or the glimpses yet. That poisons me. I know that. We know what the moonshine does. The mask. Yeah, we lose all of our glimpses. I think eventually if you use that a bunch, then you probably can use it without losing your glimpses. So we should kind of take advantage of that, maybe. Use our glimpses and then... Spam that a bunch, maybe? I don't know. Uh, which, um, it's interesting that they didn't put a cooldown on stuff. Maybe there is. The loot didn't have a cooldown. You could just spam it and then master it immediately. Uh, getting struck while hardened will grant a buff. Yeah, I remember this now. Which reduces... The next damage. Glimpse of wisdom. Oh yeah, this is this is the next area. Oh man. And then this is yeah, this is the demo area. So going in there, I think we could save our game again or whatever. Let's do it. <laughs> I hope. But alright. So, ah, that sucks. No iframes. <laughs> Let me see. I want to try to get this item first. I wish I could harden while opening a chest. They have to be iframes, right? Come here. Nice beard. Open it! Hurry up! Mechanical spike. Alright, perfect. Is there any other item? There's a little crawly thing. A little crawly thing. <laughs> uh, are we gonna die now? Ooh, another crawly thing. We'll open that. I'm here for the items. And then we're gonna fight him. Alright, I guess that's the only item. There's a bunch of different ways into this place, though. Alright, now... We're gonna use... Uh, these? Or just use... Or 46. We might need to grind a little bit on a few things. Uh, poison ourselves. <laughs> Get drunk. We drink. We ate some bad mushrooms. Sip this. Yes, I shall. We still can't upgrade anything. What the hell? Well, I'm gonna need to get at least 500 souls or tar. Uh, but I think maybe I can upgrade the weapon, possibly, with the mechanical barrel we just got. Yes. Alright, mechanical spike. Oops. Perfect. Gain enough resolve from attacking enemies. Powerful weapon ability. Left bumper and right bumper. I just don't know if we're... Kind of, I don't want to end up in one of the dungeons. Oh, whoops. Man, they get up so fast. I was like, my body was blocking him. I was like, what's that? And next thing I know, it's like this guy running in my face. Woo. 
Yeah, no backstabs. And also, I think if there was PvP, the hardened system. What are you looking at? You can't see me, Eagle Eye? The Harden system would make PvP just like everyone. You would just take turns hardening for an hour until you get bored and leave. <laughs> Probably. Unless they take out the hardening system for PvP. Or allow NP er, non NPCs to bypass the hardening somehow. Okay, so this looks like a dungeon. Yeah, we do not want to go in there. Oh well. Hmm. Let me just take a peek. Yeah, this is totally one. Oh no. Yeah, we're not going in there unless. Well, we are. We're going to take a step in. Because what's the worst that can happen? Exactly. Because I heard that the only one that you could get stuck in is the one that I got stuck in. <laughs> so. We're safe here. I'm just not going to talk to her here. Oh. Oh, I thought... Uh... Oh, this is the weapon, right? Temple grounds. No? Because if I talk to her, our spawn point is going to be here, and I don't know if I want that. Uh. Oh, crap. Oh, okay, so this is how you get the weapons. I see. We should get it after we defeat him. I mean, we've already fought you. Kind of sucks that we don't do more damage, but oops. Oh my god, right in the face. <laughs> okay. Holy, am I going to lose everything if I die to you? I can't, I can heal. Why are you so fast? Ugh. We only have one more. I got to parry him, I think. Ugh. He's gonna one shot me. <laughs> Ugh. It looks like it has a really cool move move set. All right, so that sucks. We're just wasted, man. Hang on, I kind of forgot how to play for a second. Eat another one of these. Alright. Woo! I just wish this guy wasn't so tanky. You know? I was gonna fight... The f well, we are going to backtrack and fight that other boss. I'm afraid to try to parry. <laughs> oh my god, that was close. Alright. Alright. 
And I like how you unlock special abilities for the weapons. I just wish that I had one that did a little bit more damage. Oh crap, crap! He doesn't have that problem. <laughs> He's got a lot of damage. Oh my god. Lucille almost took my face off. Well, I think... If we die, I think I have... Woo! That was close. Hang on, I need my pardon ability. I think I could... I think I have another life. Like, if we die, we get kicked out of our shell. Hopefully. Just gotta play this slow and steady. I forgot that I couldn't harden yet. Uh, don't kill me. <laughs> Leave me alone. Stop it. No. No. Stop. <laughs> Look at this badass right here. Alright. At least we get full healed. We got this. That was weird. All right. Oh, maybe we don't got this. Don't get greedy. Just, we're almost finished with it. Don't mix it up now. I got greedy and tried to go for another hit. Stand by for Titanfall. Alright, only like 20 more hits. <laughs> Why the hell? Why are you so tanky? Maybe uh, we're supposed to be a little bit more powerful at this point, fighting him. I got greedy. Okay, but it worked. It was fine. Almost dead. Oh, we did it. Give me my weapon. Please. Wait, I need... Hello? <laughs> We probably we unlock it now from the stand outside of this dream dream world. Interesting. Smoldering mace. Ashes drift from the mace's smoldering head. Hang on. <clears throat> uh, whoops, no! This mace bears an inscription. Righteous fire may only be wielded by a disciple consecrated by wrath and fury. Yeah. It's not that slow. That is, holy crap. Reminds me of the Black Knight Great Axe. Does that scoop? 
uses up a lot of stamina. It has like the same moveset as the Black Knight Great Axe. I don't know if there are roll attacks in this. I don't think so. No. Alright. Uh, first victim. Hello. Watch this. Oh my god. Pankaku. Can you, like, maybe... I don't think it was a good idea to hit me. Oh, wow. Jeez. Okay. Uh, yes. We're not gonna talk to her. Because we're gonna get out of here. We're not going through this dungeon. But I like this weapon. <laughs> We gotta backtrack all the way to the little tower area and then fight the the Grisha or whatever that's over there. Oh, did things respawn? Are you serious just from entering that? Oh my god. Oops, let's miss. It should do more damage with how Oh, is there no floor there? I almost jumped down after you. Uh Blop. Yeah, this is... For how slow it... I mean, it's actually... It's it's not much slower than the sword we were using. It's got a really nice moveset and long, long reach. There is a floor. This move is amazing. Uh, if you don't miss... Oh my god. Oh my god. Two for one. It's a stamina craziness. Ow. Yep. Pretty good weapon. Leveling up is kind of like you talk to that woman who we ignored in there. Uh, geez, you get up so fast. And... Crap. Alright. You see we have 1,390 tar. That's like the souls. But then we have six glimpses. And you need both of those in order to unlock skills for each shell. So right now we only have... Haros, uh, the body. Oh my god, no. Well, we might not have anything right now. <laughs> we have to find that again. Ugh. See, and I'm like, we're not going to save right here. I don't want my save point over here. But we have to backtrack all the way back to there. It's all right. No, you didn't distract me. I mean, maybe a little bit, but it's not your fault at all. Don't worry. Wait, we did save here. Oh, okay. So that's not that bad. Um, but I don't have my sword. I have to pick it up again from inside the dungeon. We'll just use this. Just don't miss. Hey, don't miss. Oh my god. You get up way too fast. I had no stamina. Let's not mess around. So I don't think I have any heals either. Man, that death rattle. Get it! Alright, got it. Crap. Alright, just go. You suck. I hate you. It's 
So now I know that just walking into any of the dungeons uh, respawns all the enemies. I don't know if I'm... Oh. Backtracking the right way. I probably... Whoops. I don't know. We'll see where we end up here. Yeah, souls retrieved. Um, and I think I finished. You level up. Um, right now I only have this character or this body, this shell. So you can use your glimpses. I have six. You can use them to unlock different abilities for each shell, but each one has different abilities. So you might... Wait, is this the boss? Oh, it is. All right, we found our way back. I just need to... Hang on. Uh, roasted rat. That right there. Frog is stamina regen, I'm pretty sure. Use one more time to reveal further detail about this item. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. That's interesting. So you can switch to weapons on the fly like that. I wonder why they gave you a consumable item instead of allowing you to carry... I guess it's more realistic, in a way. You can't carry around multiple giant weapons on you. But you can carry around some little, like, cloth, magic cloth that summons this sword. Huh. And then, so we have the Effigy of Heros, the same thing. You could summon weapons, it seems, to switch between them. And then also there are these effigies to switch between shells. Anyway, alright. So we're not, we gotta just find our way out of here. Yeah. So this is the first boss. And we're gonna fight that boss right now as soon as we level up. Anyway, alright, let me get this for now though. First I heard the squeals as if from a hundred mouths. Then I saw her. The revered. A writhing mass of Sanu, as if all at once she was splitting apart and coalescing. Is it salvation to look upon her? Deliverance? I knelt, losing my strength. I wanted to look away, and yet she was all I wanted to see. We can upgrade the sword, too. If I had 2,500 tar, I could buy this and then upgrade the sword. A plus one. That seems like I kind of want to do that. I will gladly accept any tar as payment. Uh, give me that. Thank you. I'll buy another rat. Now we have no money. Perfect. That's just the way I like it. Meow, wow, wow. All right. Boom. We got a plus one sword now. And it's time. We have a glimpse. Let me see. Oh, we have one glimpse. We're doing it. Over and down. Does anything cost one glimpse? Two, eight, five. Oops, two. Uh. Now, let's see something. See you later, Prism. Thanks for stopping by. It's all good. Appreciate it. We got another glimpse. And we have these. So this one, I think, oops, just gives me one. Yeah. And then we need 500 tar. So hopefully this gives that to me. Whoops. 300. Do I... Eh, let's just try to fight the boss with this. But I have the glimpses now. Nah. Whatever. It's not that hard to run in there and get my body. But... Yeah, I have to... Sorry, a little bit more patience. I need... To be able to use my special attack twice. 
So I need to kill these enemies again right here. And now we two-shot them, I think. Almost. That's nice. Meow. Alright, we almost have it already. I don't know. I guess maybe I'll try to get that 500 tar also. So that we can get that skill. Uh, 462. Whoops, what the hell? Protected by the, the cooking pot. Ow. That sucked. <laughs> Just like a wild swing off. Yeah, I think it just depends on the shell. I don't think there's any armor in this game. So it's like... Simplified. But it has, like, complex uh, mechanics, so... Parts of it are simplified, and parts of it are more complex than Dark Souls or whatever. Hey, what's up, Thanos? How you doing? So we got 572. Let's get this skill. And then let's hopefully defeat this boss. Please. Don't overindulge. <sighs> I think I want this one. Chance to restore some health, that would be nice. Or... That's also nice, but whatever, let's get this. For synergy. A madman I would come to realize was not burdened with delusions, but truth. Yet the wary ear corrupts honest words into lies. I took him for a spy and cut him down. How else could he know so much about me? He had condemned himself with each utterance. Is that the same thing he always says? Alright. Uh, do I have any buff things? Let's use that. I don't know what the mortal token does. I forgot, but alright. All right, take it slow. Nice and easy. That's going to hit me. All right. I'm glad I hardened. I'm just glad that there are no bear traps in here, imagine. I thought I missed him at first. I need stamina. Oh, that was close. Alright. Halfway. But now we don't have that ability anymore. Ah, don't roll. Alright, whatever, it's fine. He almost got me with that. Come on, stop rolling. So I pressed the dodge button twice by accident. 
This guy's scary. <laughs> Once and then stab. Good, good. All right. But we just got to be careful he doesn't attack us after that. Try to get my Harden ability back. All right. Hello. Sweet. I think we got the rhythm down. Unless he, like, berserks. That was, uh, a crap. Oh. <laughs> He's just a little angry. Just a little angry guy. It's actually, it's Bob Ross. He looks like Bob Ross, but in troll form. I should have attacked, what the heck. Okay, it doesn't matter, he's dead. Bob. Now he's in the happy little forest. Yeah, so we have six glimpses. How many souls did we get? Or 800? Nice. I think we already picked up the items from in here. Yeah. First boss down. First real boss down. Um... Just want to check where each one of these little tunnels leads to. Bob does, but you're the pole he smacks. Uh, oh. I th this thing was in the demo also. Uh, wait. I can't access my items. I can't go backwards either. Hello? Is it me you're looking for? Uh, oh. Okay. So, I might. One boss after another. I think this thing's a boss also. Probably a bad idea. Uh, where am I? Okay. Let's use this. Whoops. Let's actually put it on our bar. Because we don't have these anymore. We have all these healing items. He poisons. I know that. If it's the same one. Hello, buddy. Oh, you're just a normal little one. You're not... You're not the boss version. Oh, but we found a body. I think. Yes. We found a shell. Alright, hang on. Let's ignore it. <laughs> oh, that's all that's in... Oh, wait. Yeah, that's where we came from. Alright, that's cool. First, new body. Hey, whales. It's good. I love this game. It's really good. Good stuff. We found Leonardo DiCaprio. Huh. Now we gotta look at this person's skill, or this shell's skills. See if we want to level up this one instead. Craziness. This one looks more armored. It's slower. Alright. It's 30 bucks. If you like Souls Likes, I think this game is very much worth it. Doesn't have a multiplayer, so it's not gonna have as much longevity as the Souls game. Yeah, we're Doctor Doom. Oh, you you stayed. All right, poor little guy. We went into his home and ate all of his supper.
All right, so. Yes, it's lonely now. Oh, where do all of our glimpses go? They're on the other body. That's crazy. So because we defeated the boss with that other shell, we can't use those glimpses. They're stuck to that shell. Got it. All right. I don't know if there's going to be an item to transfer glimpses from one shell to another. Hmm. Interesting. Let's uh, find out this person's name. <laughs> Existence is a curious matter. The greatest triumph in the universe, gifted and squandered. I shan't make the same mistakes as my brother. Hmm. When the moment comes, I'll exercise restraint. I did not think he would sound like that. All right, so when holding a sacred gland, Solomon gains 25 max health. When not holding one, gains one maximum resolve segment. Huh. Solomon has a chance to heal on using a weapon ability to slay an enemy. Killing an enemy with an empowered repost has a chance to restore all resolve. What? That's crazy, but... 20 glimpses and 3,000 tar. Gains a small amount of resolve when being struck while hardened. Regain the last chance upon defeating enough foes. Okay, it's the same ability as the other one. Harden in the air to create a devastating area of impact upon landing. Salmon gains resolve when a foe is struck by the blast. Man, so you gain resolve a lot with this guy. Put your enemies off balance with a powerful kick. Okay, the other one has that too. When talking to an NPC, Salmon gains a segment of resolve. That seems to be a little bit... It doesn't say... Like, it seems like you can repeat that to max out your resolve. Hmm... Interesting. Someone becomes familiar with items more quickly and gains a glimpse on reading lore for the first time. What? That's cool. He is a scholar. Duration of time enemies remain hardened when you are separated from Solomon. Wait. The duration of time enemies remain hardened. Oh, uh, when you're separated from Solomon. Okay. So when you lose your first life and you get kicked out of the body, you have more time to recover. Huh. I like this. This is cool. I want this. Let's see if we have... I don't know if we have any glimpses. We have one, maybe more, glimpse of wisdom. I'll use this one. Oh, wait. Okay, good. It gave me two. Perfect. All right, I am going to play a little bit more now. <laughs> Just a little bit. I mean, I'm already, it's almost 10 here, 10 p.m. So I just want to get enough tar to uh, get that ability to talk, to gain resolve when talking to NPCs. And I want to see if it's abusable. Come on. And I should switch to the other weapon, too. Now that we're not fighting that boss, we could kind of switch to that weapon and learn how to use that. Although it's going to do a lot less damage than this one. Because this one we leveled up and stuff. Uh... So he's like a cleric type of character. Is he faster? He might be faster. Maybe, maybe he's stronger and it makes him swing the weapon faster. It's possible. Oops. Because they all do have different stats. You know, it's not just the abilities that you learn. I think they, they each have like slightly different stats as well. Boiled frog. All right, so that's stamina regen. We have 526. All right, that's all we had to do. 
Bow. And we still have that coin active. The buff. All right, so. Yes, taste the truth. Bit less stamina. Yeah, that's true too. Taste the rainbow. All right, hopefully this isn't completely worthless. You warned me not to go, as if you knew what I would find among the multitudes. But if that were true, why bother with such a useless gesture? Is it our nature to bemoan the unchanging course of fate? All right, so now let's talk to an NPC. Also, these this tells you where one of the bodies is. <clears throat> it's near like this big tower. Yeah, there's that one with the crown. And then the thief type of character who I played in the demo. The thief, like, this guy is awesome. He has pest of bats in a little cave someplace. Who knows where. And then I could switch to that guy if I want. And then... Uh, let's switch to this. And then we could see, I know where this is already. This Y-hander. And then this, I want this weapon. But we're not going to get that tonight. Okay, it's kind of... Unless that's a different tree, it's... Hmm. It's in that small tower area, which... It's not this tower, is it? Probably not. Uh, all right, let's talk to you. See you. Yeah, look at that. We got resolved. You should be dead, Solomon. Right, let's see if we get it no, again. It can't be. Hmm. Oh, I see it's only his face and his form stretched across your frame. Of course, your silence gives it away. Yeah. He always had too much to say, babbling on and on, incessantly. This guy starts with another... His words wound into such impossible, staggering formations, often contradicting himself beautifully. I do miss him. Unfortunately, my dear brother, Spent too much time hmm. beneath those infinite golems. He promised to turn tar into true nectar, and he succeeded. I witnessed the world burst from the fires of heaven. I watched as it decayed into this wretched place. Such a gift. But when the vision ended, he stared at me. With revulsion. So the other shell had four levels of resolve or four uh, charges. This guy has five. Which is nice. But wait, I want to talk to the shopkeeper. I want to test this on the shopkeeper. And I do seem to be moving faster, I think. I don't know. But yeah, less stamina, I think. Hmm. Cat, do you count as talking to an NPC? No. You do not. All right, you though. Well, shall we in? Surely there's something you'll fancy amongst my collection. Welcome. Ah. Shall we engage in some... It only does it once. Stay as long as you'd fancy. 
It's probably just once per, uh, like, rest. <laughs> Man. Surely, Whatever. I'm, you know. Something you'll fancy amongst my collection. If it did let you just recover all your, whoops, all your resolve, can I bring this? Then that would be totally broken, but. Wait a minute. That's cool. Nice, nice attention to detail, except for the fact that I'm, like, walking through the chain. I don't know if this actually does anything. So, the guy in there is, like, tied or chained to this bell. My brother. Alright, anyway, uh... So, maybe he says something. You, you rang the bell of awakening? You're back, empty-handed. I'm afraid I have little to offer you without a plan to prepare. Yeah. So, also, from what I know, there are three... There's, like, this big swamp overworld, and there are three really big dungeons that have multiple bosses in each one of them, and then a main boss. And then the main boss drops a gland... Uh, and I don't know what that is, other other than we have to give it to him. Maybe. Or maybe he's tricking us, and that'll be the bad ending. Who knows? But this game is really cool. Uh, how do I... Oh. Down the stairs. Oh, hey. Yes. Nice. Taste the truth. Wait a minute. I see. Yes. Ah. Uh, Alright. I think it's timed. Time-based. The resolve thing. But that's still really cool. So you can start with a bunch of... You could start with at least one or two bars of resolve. Which is nice, because then... I don't have the... Special ability for this weapon. But... If I did, that would be really cool. Anyway, alright. I gotta go. It's late enough. But I just want to keep playing. <laughs> I have to stop. Alright, yes. Get out of here. <laughs> oh my god.